Hi, this is Jason DeWar with Hoyt Electrical Instrument Works in New Hampshire and today we're going to cover the basics of analog meters and how they work. So the basic part of any analog meter is the movement. Uh, the movement of the hand or pointer over the calibrated range indicates the quantity being measured. So in front of me you see we have a scale of 0 to 15 volts, that's our measured range, and then the movement uh, basically going left to right indicates the value being measured. So what causes this pointer to actually move and how does it work? And that's what I'm going to cover today. So in simple terms, there's a moving coil located inside the magnet. So when current flows through the coil, the source being, from the source being measured, a reaction occurs and it's an electromagnetic reaction between the field and the magnet. So if you see really closely, you see the wire, the coil, the current comes through from the battery, causes that to go through the coil and reacts with the magnet, therefore causing it to move left to right. Now if you look closely, there's a spring inside there, so that holds tension on the assembly. So when the current is applied, it goes forward to the right, and then when it's let go, the spring returns it back to zero. So I'm going to show you really quick how this works. So I have a 9 volt battery right here and we're just going to go ahead and exercise it a couple times real quick and you can actually see it move. So I'm going to put the you see here real close. You see how it reacts. Current's flowing through the coil, magnet, and then the spring returns it back to zero. So not too complicated. Now there are obviously is a trick or, or there's a science to actually calibrating the meters. Uh, you can see here that sometimes there's uh, a beeswax, uh, there's some springs, so there is a, a science of actually calibrating that so it uh, moves to the scale and indicates the value that you're looking at. Most meters, pivot and jewel, are 2%. There are other styles, magnet, which are 5%, and I'll cover those here in a little bit. So at Hoyt, we have several different movements depending on the range and application. We specialize in pivot and jewel. So we have our self-shielded 19 and 29 here, or 22 here, my apologies. And we have our external magnet 17, AC repulsion, 250 degree, and top band. So top band is a little different design where there's a moving mechanism that's suspended between two pieces of metal. I'm not going to cover that today, but that's what we mean when we say top band. So to find out more information on our movements, just type in movement at pointmeter.com in the search box and a page will bring up and show you all the details on our movements. Now you also notice this cover, so if I actually put the scale back on the meter, maybe, so this is your meter, you see here the zero adjust slides in the slot there so it lets you zero the meter as well. So that's how you can adjust your meter further. So if you have any technical questions or need more info, feel free to give us a call at 800-258-3652. Thanks for tuning in this short video at hoitmeter.com on the basics of analog meters and movements.